dear students i am letha your science teacher the other day we have started a new chapter sources of food we have covered two topics and given five questions hope all of you are able to write answers then let us revise it before proceeding further obtaining one's food is called nutrition there are two types of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophs are called producers heterotrophs are called consumers then food habits of animals according their food habits divided into herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous then i am coming to the next topic is variety of food otherwise food variety in our country people of different states have different food habits when we are going to northern part of india like delhi haryana punjab then their main food chapati dal vegetable curry when we are going to the southern part of india their main food items rice sambar rasam idli etc different parts of india we can see different types of food they are eating because the food habits are affected by fruit food production supply and climatic condition next next topic we are covering what is our food made of then our food is preparing with the help of different materials suppose your mother is making tea then have you noticed that how she is making tea she is using milk water tea powder sugar these all materials she is using for making tea they are called ingredients of that food item other example rice we are sometimes eating rice the rice cooking rice two ingredients needed raw rice and water in vegetable curry different vegetables your mother is using salt oil spices spices like mirch powder haldi powder like that then idli we are making many ingredients or materials we needed like rice udad dal salt water these materials are using for preparing a food item are known as ingredients of that food then next we are eating different parts of the plant vegetables you know the edible parts of plants edible means anything that people can safely eat we cannot eat all plants but some plants some parts we are eating you know the main parts of the plant you know very well last year you studied that is root stem leaf flower fruit seed then some plants some parts we are eating edible means eatable then sometimes we have multiple parts of a plant also we are eating for example banana plant banana plant flower we are using then fruit we are using stem we are using then mustard plant its seed its leaves then oil also we are taking but some vegetables we are using like carrot radish these are the root modification the root part we are eating but the potato and onion sugar cane sugar cane you know the stem we are eating then cabbage spinach the leaf part we are eating tomato the fruit we are eating then many fruits we are eating like orange apple like that but some flowers like cauliflower the flower part we are eating next this why we are cooking food what is the use of cooking food you know it very well the cooking makes it soft and easy digestible second it improves the flavor or good smell and taste of food increase in increasing cooking also kills the harmful germs present in the raw food raw vegetable nowadays we are doing putting in hot water soap water then we are taking then removing the harmful germs next point i have to say we have to avoid wastage of food food is very precious do you leave 
food in your plate? Yes or no? Oh yes, that is wrong. But all people in our country not getting sufficient food. Why? Because of increasing population and decreasing crop production. So we have to avoid the wastage of food. Then what are the steps we have to take to avoid the wastage of food? First step, we take only as much we need. For example, your mother is keeping that 10 chapatis there. You need only 2 or 3. After that you can take if you want. Don't waste it. Second, we should cook sufficient food items. For example, 2 people, 3 people in our house, mother knows. She knows. Then sufficient food items we have to cook. Third, use proper easy cooking technique to avoid too much peeling and heating. Overcooking also not good. Wastage will come. Then preserve the food by pickling. Achar you know. Then mango getting time. Otherwise it will spoil. We are keeping us pickling. These are the today's topics. Then questions are there. First question. Please note down in your FCOP or pages. What do you understand by the term ingredients? Second question. Name the ingredients present in the following food items. A. Kheer. B. Idli. C. Chapati. D. Dal curry. Then question number 3. Why we are cooking food? Question number 4. Give two examples of stems we used as food. Then next question. Give two examples of multiple parts of same plant we used as food. Thank you. Have a nice day.